Welcome back, guys, and today we are jumping back into SnowRunner to take a look at a brand new, fully console-friendly truck from Limes. Now, this truck is actually really important because it represents Limes' return to SnowRunner modding, and it's called the Old Smoky. Now, as of recording this video, this truck has not yet been approved for consoles, but I'm sure that it will be approved very, very soon. And, of course, you can check your respective console's mod browser to check and see if it is there yet by sorting sorting by latest updates and or latest submissions. Now, the Old Smokey is based on a 1963 Chevy with a cat engine under the hood, and some of you may be thinking, well, he already made the 63 Mega, is this not, like, really similar to that? Bro, this couldn't be more different than the 63 Mega. I know that they are both based on that 63 platform, but like I said before, keep watching, and as we dig into the customization, you'll see why this is very, very different from the 63 Mega. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and fire this thing up, get it into the garage, and see what it's all about. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are going to be using this truck for. Dude, that sound! This thing sounds incredible! Bro, look at that exhaust tip as well. It's just like, literally, a custom axle dump setup designed specifically for this truck. Bro, it's got so much turbo spool sound to it. It sounds amazing, though. All right, so let's go ahead and see what kind of engine options we have. We have the 550 horsepower 10.3 liter cat option. And then we also have a 1,275 horsepower cat engine option. We're going to go with it. Well, wait a minute. I want you to close your eyes real quick and see if you can guess which one we're going to go with. If you guessed the 1,275 horsepower option, you guessed correctly. Now, gearbox-wise, we got the stock 5-speed, which is already really, really good. If you're looking for a little bit more of a vanilla-ish gameplay style, I'm not going to kid anybody and say that this truck is going to be, you know, like, fully vanilla gameplay. But if you wanted it to be a little bit closer to that type of gameplay style, there's your option for that. We're going to go with the fast transmission because it's still very versatile. But if you want a heavy tow option that you can use used to pull goosenecks and stuff like that there is a 10 speed for that as well now suspension wise you've got stock flex lift short lift and tow now there's obviously going to be different situations where different suspensions are going to apply better um stock is usually at least historically with limes mods the stock suspension is actually going to be the one that you would use for racing around tracks like the one on the stadium or maybe on uh desert proving grounds for example on the baja track i am personally going to go for i think we're going to start off the test with the uh, probably the flex setup because i really want to see how well this thing can flex out now tires wise we've got the stocks and those go all the way up to 54 inch tires and even though they're the quote-unquote stock tires they look awesome they look really really good then from there you've got boggers which are obviously like you know lower sidewall deep dish wheel boggers they start at a 37 and they go all the way up to a 54 next up we've got the stretched um they look like trail grapplers on archon wheels now these go all the way up to again a 54 and then you have boggers which are a lot more um, a lot more sidewall focused, really, really chunky looking setup. Again, those go up to a 59. Those, I mean, if you're trying to build like a mega truck setup, that's definitely one of the options you can go with. These look really nice. These are a set of super swampers and they also go up to a 59. Then you've got IROX and these look really good. Actually, if I was going to build, uh, if I was going to build one of these, that would be a little bit more focused on maybe off-road duty uh, a little bit more often than not, I would probably go with the IROX. Then you've also got the stickies. These I would throw on here if I was going to go rock crawling with this thing. You also have these, the, uh, I believe these are country hunters. I want to say that's what these are. And they're a good looking tire, but I'm kind of back and forth on whether or not I would use them. Then you have the swampers, which, I mean, these things will, these things will go anywhere. You really don't have to, you really don't have to ask if they can go somewhere. You just point the truck at the terrain 
and you hit the throttle and it's gonna go. Now, these guys are, these are kind of a middle of the road uh, mud terrain tire. They look really good and they also, they do go up to a 59 inch. Now, let's see. Whoa, these are basically just cut boggers. These are going to be the ones that you're going to use to rip through anything. And of course, if you do want to go that mega truck route slash mud truck route, you have these T1 uh, tractor tires if that is the route you want to go for. Now, I personally am really fond of a specific setup on this truck and it's actually way up near the top of the list now let's go through the stretch tires we're gonna go with the 48 inch boggers I feel like that's a really well balanced setup for this particular suspension now obviously we're gonna use the dev tools a little bit later on in the video to kind of mix and match suspensions and tire options and things like that but for now on this setup I think this looks really good now winch wise we're gonna do the long toe strap frame add-ons you've got a gooseneck hitch we're not gonna put that in just yet but if you did want to do heavy hauling the option is there now the hood is fully removable to reveal that turbo cat engine and one of the coolest things about this mod is that you can actually redirect the downpipe that comes off of the turbo and you can actually basically rotate it you can clock it and turn it into an up pipe now the way that you do that is you go down here to the exhaust options and you have the axle dump and you also have a either light smoke or double smoke option and you basically switch it to the hood stack now, the hood stack, as you can see, takes that down pipe that comes off the turbo, turns it around, and turns it into an up pipe with a custom exhaust tip literally welded to the top of it. Now, again, these are customization options that you normally wouldn't have in SnowRunner. I mean, these are customization options that you would think you would have in like a game like Need for Speed. This is like Need for Speed style customization where you can route the exhaust in different ways, but in an off-road game. Why, why are we not funding this? So now let's go down to the wheel options. And again, this is going to be your only option on these particular uh, tires, like the low profile bogger setup, but that's going to be more of your show setup. And I'm totally fine with it because the black wheels go with just about any color setup. So now let's go back to the tow weight. So if you do run the tow suspension, that option is there for you. And rock lights, you have a bunch of different colors. You have uh, like standard white, you have blue, green, purple, red, teal, yellow, any approach you want to take with the rock lights it's there for you so we're actually going to go with i think i want to see what the teal rock lights look like and then as far as colors go you've got in typical limes fashion you have whatever color option you basically could ever want i mean you can adjust the colors on this truck to your absolute heart's content and it's entirely up to you what approach you want to take now i'm a little back and forth actually on what approach i want to take with this truck i'm going back and forth because i like the white i like the green i like the blue i'm again i'm all over the map because all of the color options on this truck do look just so good i'm kind of uh i actually really like this brighter blue i think that looks really nice now let's go ahead and put beans on the dash and then now let's take this thing outside in this first initial setup see what it looks like sounds like how it goes and also let's see what those rock lights look like so i'm gonna back it up over here real quick and now we're going to kind of turn it around and we're going to use the dev tools to cycle through the times. And let's see, we got any rock lights? We don't have rock lights. Okay, that's a little bit odd. Normally you would. Well, maybe if I change, aha, maybe if I change time on the map. Yep, there it is. There. Wow. Bro, okay, the teal rock lights, the teal rock lights might be the move. That looks insane. Okay. <laughs> I am all about that. That looks evil at night, too. That looks so good at night. All right. So now that we've seen how that looks, let's take this thing for a drive. But firstly, let's test out the flex. Bro, it's got so much torque. It genuinely has, like, monstrous amounts of torque. All right, let's check the flex. Yeah, um, the flex is absolutely there. Now, uh, are you going to be using that on such a, like, show-focused setup? I don't know. That's up to you. I mean, if you want to take a show truck down the trails, I ain't here to stop you. So if that's, I mean, hey, bro, if that's your dream, take the dang show truck down the trails. Who's to stop you, right? Who's to tell you you can't do it? It's SnowRunner. Not only is it SnowRunner, but you are free to do that. So literally go for it. All right, let's see what happens if we point it at the creek, throw it in high, and pin it. Hold! <laughs> well, that went 
well. <laughs> oh my god, that went well. Woo, okay, all right. Bro, this absolutely retains the classic Limes character that we all know and love. What a return to form for Limes. We don't even need to see if it can do the hill climb. I mean, it'll freaking cruise up the hill. It'll use the dang hill climb as a ramp. I, it'll use it like a ramp and not bat an eye. Now, let me make my way around the court. Whoa, easy. Please don't. Like, please don't attempt to just randomly spin out on me. All right, let's take you through a little bit of rock crawling now. Easy. Man, that cat engine sounds so good. Bro, this thing doesn't even bat an eye. What a beast. And what an amazing, like, oh, easy. It's like, it, it's an amazing truck to drive because it's so chill and yet it's so, like, intense all the time. Come on. All right, let's see. Will we land on our wheels if we just yeet it? Whoa, that balance, though. That, that balance is next level. That, oh, God. We got the freaky shock going on. Hold on. Yep, yep, shock. Yes, we know you're a little shocked about this. You can call, call sir, calm down. Calm, I'm, 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 I'm warning you, calm down. You're not gonna calm down? Okay, well, we're gonna just, I. you know what actually we'll do? We'll swap out the lift and uh, we're gonna just throw some freaking monster T1 tires on it and send it into the mud and see what happens. We're gonna put the suspension in high mode even. Oh yeah, let's go. Full mud truck mode, send it! Wow, you want to talk about not batting an eye? This, I mean, it really doesn't. Can we sink it? Because this stuff out here is known for sinking trucks. I, actually, we kind of can. That's impressive. That's impressive. Well, I mean, you put it in low range, it'll still go, though. So it's no problem. I mean, it's fine. You'll just have to slow down a little bit, which that's kind of a snow runner thing in general. But if you look on the inside also, check this out. There's keys in the ignition. God, that freaky shock is just like... It is having a time and a half over there. <laughs> we broke it. Hey, Limes, I'm sorry. I broke it. I broke your truck. I'm going to have to give it back broken now. He's probably going to be like, you ain't giving it back. You, We got a you break it, you buy it policy around here at Limes Customs. Didn't you know that? Bro, didn't you freaking know about our you break it, you buy it policy? You get out of here with that. All right. Let's make my way out onto the silent ground and yeet. Oh, God. Whoa. Bro, we almost looped this thing out. Oh, my God. We got to see where we can take it from here. Y'all know it had to happen, right? You all know we had to go for the goofiest setup we possibly could. These are the largest stretched grapplers you can get. And not only did we paint match the truck to the wheels, but we're going to do the bridge jump on this setup. Now, I'm sure we could go a little bit faster if we went with a slightly taller tire, but I feel like the amount of speed is going to be uh, basically, you know, basically like negligible. It's not going to make any difference considering how far we're going to fly off of this bridge jump. Oh my God. Could you like stay going the proper direction? Thank you. Oh boy. Oh man. Running start even as well. God, I can't even keep it going in a directly forward line. Come on. Whoa! I mean, actually, the composure, though. <laughs> the composure is insane. Oh, my God. Well, um, if you guys enjoyed this look at Old Smokey, make sure you check it out on your respective mod browser. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Hit that subscribe button to turn those notifications on. And I will see you guys next time.